help them feed kids who are experiencing hunger right now. Let's get straight to 7 News' Christine Scarpelli. She's live at the well in Greenville to tell us how Morning, we guys. can start the yes. weekend off by doing Here something really good. Hi, Christine. I am sorry. I'm just trying to provide the most amount of good to start off your weekend. Absolutely. Listen, hey, if you're on your way to work, if you are on your way to breakfast, brunch, really doesn't matter. We will take the canned goods, non-perishable food items, even just a dollar or two off of your hands this morning. We are at the well, like you guys said. I am so glad to be here with Tim, representing the Swamp Rabbits here. Sure. Oh, that's so good. Community relations, corporate in there, too. That means you guys are connected and working with Greenville Youth Hockey. Greater yeah. Greenville, this, I think, children mm -hmm. and youth mm -hmm. helping out children and youth. That yeah. really sounds like what it is this morning. Yeah. Tell me the connection yeah. there. It is. That's exactly right. You know, we're very excited to partner with Loaves and Fishes, one of our great community partners. You mentioned Greater Greenville Hockey Association, getting the youth hockey involved and just doing good. You know, I think that's the, the thing for us right now, right, is, is we want to be involved. Uh, we want to have these opportunities, right, where, you know, we're talking about the landscape and things are changing weekly, daily, but what's not changing is there's a need for help, right? And, and Loaves and Fishes does such a great job with uh, food insecurity and getting food out to people that need it. So for us to be a part of that, to have an opportunity to be a part of that and involve youth hockey is something we're excited about. That's been the plan, really, is to get the food out and collect as much as possible for children, especially right now during a pandemic. The need is greater than ever before. Tim, you were mentioning this could also be a bit of a lesson. So if you've got some parents, if your parents, if you got kids, and you want to talk about how really this is a chance for them to help their fellow community members, you could you could teach that lesson. For sure, you know, and I think that's a, a great opportunity for us, right, to, to help facilitate that, you know, and if you're looking for something to do, you're not sure what you should be doing right now, you can help, right, and, and you know, whether that's dropping by the arena here and bringing some items, or if it's doing a monetary donation, there's certainly ways that you can get involved, and again, with our great partners with Loaves and Fishes, they've, they've made it easy for people to help out and support, uh, so we're just excited to be a part of it. Would you hold up that clipboard I will. right there? All right, listen, drop off your cans right now until Saturday at 3. It's 11 yeah. to 3 today and tomorrow. Drop them off now. We'll pick them up. We have permission. If not, scan your QR code. A financial donation will be just fine. I would love it. We'll see you soon, guys. <laughs> Let's do it this morning. All right, Christine. Awesome. Happy Friday. Fred? See ya. Coming up, it's a kangaroo cop chase. We have the pursuit in a special Animal Stories edition of your morning feed.